And now the main pocket in this bag. This is where things get a little bit funny. Now, I love the layout. I love the functionality. It is wonderful. However, just keeping one thing into consideration, the main pocket actually, for the most part, opens up sideways. As you open this up, it is very well organized, has an unbelievable organization, good quality padding, it's safe, it's secure, keeps your things not only organized, but definitely safe with all the padding options. However, one thing worth considering, because the water bottle is on this side, if you need to lay the bag down, it is awkward. So for me, basically I have to commit to removing my water bottle right away, zipping everything up, flipping the bag to the side after I get my laptop out, after I get my notebook out, and then pretty much opening this up. At that point, I display the internal contents. Now I do have another option if I wanted to simplify things a little bit. This has a nice padded sleeve on the inside. I could probably just commit to keeping my laptop on the inside here. It would simplify things a little bit. That may be what I actually do now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more careful. So again, on the inside, nice big open sleeve. This would accommodate certainly a laptop. This also accommodates a bladder. It has the ability to hang the bladder right in the top. It has a little clip here. The ability to hang your bladder on the inside. Now this again, nice and quilted, but it's also Velcro lined. So these dividers are nice and padded. They're actually articulated. So they allow you to make a number of different shapes depending on what you're carrying on the inside. For me right now, I pretty much just want these to be nice and straight across. You'll notice that for me, if I'm not careful, this wants to fillet itself kind of open. What I do is I use these dividers completely across the inside kind of holds it together, holds it rigid, and doesn't allow this to flop around too much. Now the items that I have in here are my everyday carry items. And you'll notice that in this, I do have a nice big cavity right here. That gives me flexibility. So for example, I have a couple of things that just for specialty purposes, I need to kind of have with me. I just happen to have a dust mask. I need it for a special project. It gives me the ability to put it in there, bring it with me. If I had a jacket, I can put it in there. If I had a number of different things, I can just put it in there. So I don't fill this bag up completely. I leave a little bit of space for things that I may need to bring on any particular day for any particular reason. But again, the rest of this stuff is part of my everyday carry system. So as I get into it here, these have sleeves on the outside. I actually just use one of them. I kind of stack up my paychecks. Now, they're not live checks, they're direct deposit, but I keep my stubs. They slide in here just nicely, perfect spot to put them. Keeps them on the inside of my bag, nothing too fancy. Now this side works great. So for example, I have a number of tools in this that I really like to keep with me. So as I slide this out, I actually have a little organizer here, has a number of tools that I use on a regular basis. This pouch has gone with me in every single EDC kit that I've ever had and keeps just some of my basics nice and handy right at a fingertip. So I found that for me, even though this sleeve doesn't have Velcro lining, it really didn't need it. This just fits perfectly right down inside. As long as I'm careful, it slides right in there and displays the contents easily. Now it does have a Velcro enclosure on the top, which allows me to kind of seal it off so these things don't fall out and flap in the breeze. It's worked quite well. Now again, because the entire interior is Velcro lined on the main part of the pouch, I can use different Velcro style pouches. So what I've done is actually I use a pouch here. Oftentimes I'll put cables in here. I don't have any in here right now. I've kind of been using them for a couple different reasons. So they're not in here, but what I'll do is I'll bundle them up. I'll put them in here, close this off, it sits right in the top of my bag. So when I need my different cables, all I need to do is unzip this, grab my cables, phone chargers, battery chargers, things like that. Go right on the top here. Very easy, quick to get to, and doesn't have too much competition of space with anything else in here. 
Again, that's a big thought in my mind. How do I minimize competition of space? How do I minimize bulk and weight when I don't need it? I'm careful of what I put in here. It's all in a specific layout for a very specific reason. Now this middle section here, I do have my large inspectional flashlight. I have this kind of loose reason being I carry this in a molly pouch. I can just slide this in and out with ease, get to my destination, slide this out, pop it on my belt, works out very well. This is a good high quality flashlight, basically gives me extremely high output for inspections and things like that, and I can just get to it easily. Now I don't need to necessarily keep this on my person, which is what I like. There's no reason for me to always have this on me, but when I need it, I need it. So it sits in here beautifully, sits nice and easy. I just pop it out and I'm ready to go. Again, on the inside here, I just have some multi-tools. So two multi-tools. I find that sometimes with pliers, you need more than one set. So I actually carry two Leatherman in here. One of them has interchangeable bits. That works out very well. The other one doesn't, but again, just two pairs of pliers works out. And the other thing is in the case where I happen to forget my knife, maybe I forget my backup knife and it's not in here, I can always also carry a multi-tool. So it works out very well. I always have a couple multi-tools on me and this is a perfect place to keep it. This is something that entered into my EDC kit a long time ago. Nice little torch. So depending on what you need it for, I actually used to do a lot of paracord weaving. So to have this was very nice. Gives you a good precise flame. I just kind of keep it in here. Nice little butane torch. Gives me a nice flame if I need it. And then finally, another Velcro pouch inside here. I have some spare batteries. So rechargeable batteries, double A's, triple A's. I have some 18650s for my flashlights. And then a couple of other funny little things. I actually have some uh, needles and safety pins and then some little bits for a screwdriver. So depending on um, you know what I need, I have pretty good assortment of things with me. I have the ability to change out batteries. I have the ability to keep fresh batteries in my flashlights. I have bits for my tools, a couple sets of pliers, the ability to you know, uh, have fire if I need it, and a little flame. Just good quality items making up my EDC. And then finally, on the bottom here, this is something that is really, for me, kind of the newest revelation. It's funny, it doesn't necessarily strike a chord with everybody, but it works well for me. And in here, you'll see, this is my Emdom USA Tactical Pencil Case. Yes, pencil case. Now I covered this in great detail, but inside here, an array of pencils. I have markers, I have paint markers, different Sharpies, highlighters, all the things I need to kind of do my job. I actually do a lot of annotating of drawings. I do a lot of things where I need different highlighters, different pens, different markers. So to have it all right here works very well. And then the fact that this just has the ability in this Trident 32, you'll notice that this fits so perfect right in there. Just the absolute perfect size. I can make these compartments the way I need. I can make things that fit perfectly. It doesn't take up a ton of space. It just slides in very efficiently. So when I'm at work, I basically take this bag, I open it up, I sit it on the ground, and I'm kind of just working out of this. It's like a mobile workshop for me. I love it. It works out extremely well, keeps my things very organized. And then finally on the inside here, you'll notice that this pouch on the outside, so the like exterior sort of sleeve here, has a zipper that goes across two different pockets. So on one side, I have business cards from a bunch of people that I've accumulated. There's a number of contacts that really make a difference for me. I'm just kind of keeping these in here as a safe place and the ability for me to get to them easily. And then the other thing is just a little stash of cash. You know, a lot of times you go places, you need a little bit of cash. I have a couple of tens, a 20, a couple of ones, a couple of fives. I just kind of keep it in here. Anytime I get a little extra spare cash, I just kind of tuck it in here. You never know. You need to go through a toll booth. You need some coffee. You go out to lunch with somebody. You want to be able to just deal with something. Sometimes you just need a little bit of cash. So to have a small array in here works out very well. 
Now going through the rest of this bag, you'll notice that there's molly in different places, little attachment points, little flaps, the ability to protect your zippers, good quality durable materials, molly lashing points. There's all kinds of different connection and lashing points all over this. No doubt that this is an absolutely capable and wonderful bag. For me, it's not just a bag. This is now a system. This is my EDC, my everyday carry bag, my everyday carry system. The thing that allows me to really do my job well, live my life organized, have everything I need at a fingertip. And for that, I need to say thank you very much, VanQuest. Beautiful job with the bag. I greatly like it. This is really ratcheting up my EDC system a notch. It's a little heavy, a little bit bulky at times, but that's my choice. You could go smaller if you wanted to. For me, having this volume of stuff, having these things at my fingertips has been great. I don't mind having a little bit of volume. I don't mind having a little bit of weight. It works for me. It's been great. It's been absolutely perfect the way I've been able to organize this, set up my gear, and still have a little volume in case I need it. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at my EDC system. I hope you've enjoyed this video. A little bit long, a lot of detail, but some great quality products mixed in here, especially this VanQuest Trident 32 Gen 3. There's not too much I would change about this. The things that I have to offer are nitpicky. The things that I have to offer are my observations and the things I think would just add a little bit of additional functionality. But generally speaking, an amazing bag, wonderful quality, extremely capable, and something I've come to greatly enjoy and appreciate. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.